Hey guys, so I want to share a brutal board with you. This is a very brutal in that a lot of compromises had to be made for this one, and I think I spent a good 40 minutes trying to solve this, but I think I eventually solved it, and I made, let me see, 159, so I made 159. That's quite a lot for a board like this. So let's, let's go ahead and see, look at the solution first very quickly, and then I'll walk you through it. So this is the solution. Okay, what, what next? Um, and actually this, uh, then uh, this, and then I have this. There you go, 159. Now, as you see, this board is pretty complicated. Let me get better contrasting colors here. So the difficulty in this board was that um, there's a lot of compromises to be made and it's very difficult to find an easy, elegant solution. So starting with this one, right, you have 15 and 15 and you have a 6 here and then a 7 and it's like it's very difficult to immediately get something. You lose a lot of points just by taking the 6 out. So I wanted to make sure that I'm taking it out with, with an actual score. Uh, there are a lot of things like, for example, I decided not to go for this one. Uh, well, let's start. So basically, eventually trying several options, I decided to go for this line here. This was fairly obvious, so this is fairly obvious. Uh, the decision was whether I use the two, this two or this two. And I went for this two because when I removed that, it seemed to be a viable option to move that to seven. This was a, a compromise where we had to do one, two, three, three melds before we actually match. So this was kind of sucky, but uh, I tried many options here and I didn't see any other solution. But after these things, at least we have very clean matches just like that. Uh, so I tried several things with these, but eventually I decided that it's just cheaper to match. Uh, at first I matched uh, 411 and then made it to seven, but eventually I came up with a different thing. So this obviously goes over here, but I eventually decided that I want to move that 15 into 13. And uh, this was also not bad. Uh, I didn't lose a lot of points here. Um, this was a good find. I actually didn't know what to do with that too, but then I noticed after several options that you have this good opening right over here. And then with this, of course, I had a 15 here. I could have matched it. The reason I didn't do it because you could hardly go anywhere from there. Whereas here, you can also do this and match these two, right? So why didn't I do that? Because 14 is then lost, and there's still a lot of blocks left. So I sacrificed 4, uh, and then I would get my 8, and at that point in time, I get enough leverage here that I have a pretty cheap one that I can turn the 10 into a 9 and get another pair, get this pair, and then I have two more. So... Uh, there you go.